All right, today we're going to talk about relative density and solubility. So on this page in your journal, you should have the relative density page that looks like this. And the couple of notes I want you to know is that whether matter floats or sinks in water is what determines its relative density. Okay, if something sinks or something floats, um, that's how you know what its relative density is. And you observe it using a beaker of water. So I want you to write what we've been learning so far about mo flow. Okay. And then what do I tell you? If there is more than it is on the floor, right? That's all mo floor, or mo floor, mo flow is. If there's more, it's on the floor. If it's less, then you know it's up high, it's floating. Um, then on your next page, this is where we're gonna do kind of a little experiment. You should have this page next. And this is a relative density page. What this is, is this is a picture of a beaker. And today we're gonna use a beaker. All right, and we're going to test the relative density of certain objects. We're going to test the relative density of a paper clip, a ping pong ball, a wooden block, a metal cube, okay, and a domino. So, hang tight while I get some water. All right. So, in my, what I want you to write first in your journal is I want you to somewhere on the white space, doesn't matter where, I want you to write our, the names of our objects. So we can do metal, oops, cube, wood, cube, domino, a ping pong ball, a paper clip. And last, I don't think I showed you this, a rubber ball. Okay, this is a rubber bouncy ball. And oil, we're gonna do oil last because I don't really want the oil necessarily to get all over the objects because <laughs> it's hard to clean off. All right, so let's do this, shall we? So if you don't have all this written, pause the video so you can do that. And I'm going to move some stuff out of the way. All right. So let's watch. Let's see if it sinks or floats. Um, it's probably going to be better if I do it this way. All right. Here, get the McDonald's cup out of the way. Oh, my. Husband's work stuff. All right, let's start with the paper clip. Give me your prediction. You think it's going to sink or float? Sink, it went straight to the bottom. No questions asked. All right, let's do wooden block. <gasps> float. Uh, metal block. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> that was kind of loud. A domino. <gasps> float. Ping pong ball, float, and last, the rubber ball, float. I didn't see that one coming. Did you? Look at all these objects that are floating. Pretty cool, huh? And then the only thing that sunk was our metal cube and the paper clip. All right, I'm gonna take all these objects out except for the paper clip 
and this ping pong ball. Now, I'm going to add some oil, and we're going to see what happens next. So pretty, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so what do you see? What happened? Well, I still see the paper clip at the bottom, which I don't know if you can see that right now. Maybe you can. There it is. All right. And you've got your water and your oil separated rather quickly, and it's on top. But look, that ping pong ball, ping pong ball is still less dense than the oil. So this way you can see the paper clip is more dense, it's MoFlo. And then water would be the next MoFlo. Of course you've got your uh, oil and then your ping pong ball. So what I want your journal to look like, going back to this page, oops, okay, let me try that. I want your picture, I want you to draw a picture of what we see. So here at the bottom, oops, come on, focus. All right, here at the bottom, you got your paper clip, right? And then here, you've got your water. Okay. Then you've got your oil layer here. And then what was on top? The ping pong ball. It was right on top of the oil. So let's say that the water, the oil level was here, okay? All right, and that's pretty much it. Pretty easy, huh? Let me try to make zoom out a little bit so you can see it all. All right, these two pages should be glued in your journal. Thanks. Bye.